little fox. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode One: No More Milk. Once upon a time, there was a clever boy. His name was Jack. He lived with his mother. Jack and his mother were poor. Long ago, an evil ogre stole their gold. Then Jack's father died. But they still had a garden and wheat field. They also had an old cow named Milky White. Every morning, Jack milked Milky White. Every afternoon, he went to the market. Fresh milk for sale, Jack called. Fresh butter too. Every night, Jack took the money home to mother. One year, terrible rainstorms came. Rain washed away their vegetable garden. It washed away the wheat field too. Mother looked around and shook her head. What will we do? She said. Don't worry, mother. Jack said cheerfully. In the spring, we'll make a new garden. We'll plant more wheat. And we still have Milky White. Mother nodded. You're right, Jack. We still have Milky White. Then one day, Jack went to milk the cow. But Milky White had no milk. I hope Milky White is okay. Jack thought. The next day. Jack tried to milk the cow again. Oh no! He said. The cow had no milk again. Jack sighed. <sighs> How will I tell mother? Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode Two: A Grand Plan. That evening, Jack told Mother about Milky White. This is terrible, Mother said. How will we make money? She put her head on the table and sobbed. Oh! <gasps> There was one thing Jack hated. That was watching Mother cry. <gasps> Please don't cry, Mother," he said. "I have a plan." Mother lifted her head. "We have a big problem, Jack," she said. "It's not time for one of your grand plans." <laughs> Jack smiled. "It's not a grand plan this time. It's a simple one." "What is it?" Mother asked slowly. I will look for a job," Jack said. "Then I can earn money." "A job?" Mother said. "Where will you look for a job?" "I will look in town," Jack said. "You tried that last year," Mother said. "Remember, Jack? Nobody needed help." That was a year ago, Jack said. Maybe someone needs help now. He shrugged. It never hurts to try. Just then, something outside caught Jack's eye. In the night sky, a star twinkled brightly. 
hope filled Jack's heart. Jack looked back at Mother. I have a good feeling about this, Mother. Something magical is going to happen. Mother sighed. <sighs> Fine. Go and look for a job. Maybe something good will happen. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 3, Jack Goes to Town. Jack woke up early and walked to town. First, he went to the shoemaker's shop. Good morning, sir, Jack said. I need a job. Do you have any work for me? The shoemaker shook his head. I'm sorry, Jack, he said. I don't need any help. Next, Jack went to the bakery. He greeted the baker. Do you have any work for me? He asked. The baker shook her head. Not right now, Jack. My daughters are helping me. Jack went from shop to shop. But he had no luck. Jack sighed. <sighs> this is terrible. No one needs any help. Jack began to walk home. How would he tell Mother the bad news? He kicked a rock hard. It bounced down the dirt road. Ouch! A voice called. Stop kicking rocks! <gasps> Jack looked up. A young woman stood outside a shabby house. She was gathering herbs. I'm sorry, Jack said. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just mad about something. It's okay. The young woman smiled at Jack. Jack smiled back shyly. My name is Jack. I'm Eliza, the young woman said. Tell me, Jack, what are you so mad about? Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 4, Mother's Plan. Jack told Eliza about Milky White. My father was an explorer, he said. He found treasure and gold on his trips. Eliza's eyes lit up. Treasure? Jack nodded and told Eliza about the treasure and gold. But a mean ogre stole everything from us. And then my father died, he said. Now we're poor. My family is poor too, 
Eliza said. My parents died several years ago. So I take care of my brothers and sisters. Oh, Jack said. That sounds hard. Eliza nodded. You don't have any money. But you still have your mother. And that's a treasure. Jack nodded. You're right. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> Soon, Jack started walking again. Mother ran outside as Jack got closer. Did you find a job? She called. Jack shook his head. Nobody in town needs help, he said. Mother frowned. We must sell Milky White. Jack gasped. Oh no, Mother. We can't sell Milky White. We need her milk. Milky White is not giving milk, Mother said firmly. So we must sell her. Jack started to speak again, but Mother folded her arms. You must sell Milky White tomorrow, she said. We need the money for food. Jack hung his head. Mother was right. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 5, The Funny-Looking Man. The next morning, Jack got Milky White. Slowly, he began walking her toward the market. When he was close to town, a voice rang out. Good morning, Jack. Jack looked around. A funny-looking man was waving at him. His blue eyes twinkled like stars. How does he know my name? Jack thought. The strange man came closer. Oh. He danced around the cow. Milky White is a very fine cow, the man said. Where are you taking her? I am taking her to the market, Jack said. She is a fine cow, but I must sell her. <sighs> what? The man's face lit up. You're selling her? He asked. Jack nodded. The man did another little dance. <laughs> this is my lucky day, he said. And yours too. <laughs> the man held out his hand. Jack blinked. Five tiny white things lay in the man's hand. Are those beans? Jack asked. 
The man grinned at Jack. Of course they're beans. Special beans. Jack looked at the beans again. They don't look special, he thought. They just look like plain beans. Let's make a deal, the man said. I'll give you these five beans for Milky White. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 6, Five Beans for One Cow. Jack laughed loudly at the man. Five little beans for one big cow? The man nodded and grinned. How about it, Jack? He asked. Jack shook his head. That's not a good deal. I won't trade my cow for five little beans. The man shrugged. Oh, well. These beans are little. But they are magic. He began to walk away. Wait, Jack called. Did you say magic beans? Yes! The man came back. He held out the beans again. I don't know, Jack said slowly. He stared at the beans. Then he looked at Milky White. We need to sell Milky White for money, Jack said. If I trade her for beans, Mother will be... You can plant these beans, the man said. They will grow through the clouds, up to the sky. Hmm, Jack thought. A beanstalk as high as the sky? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Here. The man put the beans in Jack's hand. Just take the beans and plant them. If nothing happens, I'll give back your cow. It's a deal, Jack said. Soon, the man headed off with Milky White. And Jack headed home with five tiny beans. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 7, News for Mother. Mother ran outside when Jack came home. She was happy to see Jack without the cow. Wonderful! Mother cried. You sold Milky White! How much money did you get? Ten gold coins? Twenty gold coins? Um... Jack gulped. Uh... He put on his brightest smile. I got something better than money, Mother. No. Jack reached into his pocket. I traded Milky White for five magic beans. He opened his hand and showed Mother the beans. 
What? Mother gasped and turned pale. For a moment, she said nothing. Then she dropped to the ground. Beans? Mother's hand was on her heart. You traded Milky White for beans? Don't cry, Mother, Jack begged. Please, don't cry. But tears were streaming from Mother's eyes. They are magic beans, Jack said again. We can plant them. A giant beanstalk will grow. As high as the sky. Oh, Jack! <laughs> Mother sobbed. You're a clever boy, but sometimes you do silly things. We need money, not beans! Oh. <laughs> Jack tried again. Didn't you hear me, Mother? He said. The beans are magic. Mother shook her head in anger. Jack, listen to me. Beans are beans. They are not magic. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 8 a strange shadow. Jack tried again to tell Mother about the beans, but Mother leaped to her feet. She grabbed the beans out of Jack's hand. Mother squeezed her fist hard. Then she threw the beans across the yard. There! Mother spun back to Jack. Stop talking about those silly beans! Now go straight to bed. No supper for you! Jack hung his head. Yes, Mother. He mumbled. I'm sorry. Slowly, he climbed the steps to the attic. Mother's right, Jack thought. I was foolish to believe in magic. Now we have no milk, no cow, and no money. He climbed into bed and stared out the window. No star twinkled brightly that night. The sky looked as black as ink. I need a grand plan, Jack thought. One idea came to him. I'll find the funny looking man tomorrow, Jack thought. I'll ask him to return Milky White. The next morning, Jack woke up early. He looked around the attic. The sun shone brightly in one spot, but a shadow covered the rest of the floor. That's strange, he thought. Why is it so dark in here? Jack jumped out of bed. He rushed to the window. Jack gasped. A giant beanstalk stretched up toward the sky.
Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode Nine. Up, up, up. Jack stared at the beanstalk. It went up, up, up into the sky. Clouds hid the top of it. That man was telling the truth. Jack thought, "Those beans were magic." Carefully, Jack climbed onto the beanstalk. He climbed and climbed. Soon, his house was far below. Whoa! Jack said. This beanstalk is tall. Jack climbed higher and higher. He passed through clouds. And then he saw a strange land. Jack stepped off the beanstalk. Where am I? He thought. Jack walked along a road. He grew tired and hungry. Jack spotted a tall house. A woman stood in the doorway. Maybe she'll give me food. Jack thought. Good morning, Jack called politely. He rubbed his belly. I'm very hungry. Can you please give me some breakfast? Um. The woman looked nervous. She glanced all around and then back at Jack. You want something to eat? Jack stepped closer. Yes, please. I missed supper last night. And I had no breakfast this morning. The woman bit her lip. You should leave now. Why? Jack asked. My husband. The woman whispered. He's an ogre. Jack and the Beanstalk. Episode Ten: The Ogre's Wife. Jack stared at the woman. Your husband is an ogre, he said. Is he the mean ogre who steals gold? Yes, the woman said. He steals gold and treasure from people. And do you know what his favorite food is? Jack shook his head. No. It's baked boys on bread. The ogre's wife said. Jack gulped. You must get out of here. The woman went on. My husband is out hunting now, but he will return soon, and he will eat you. Jack knew he should leave at once. Mother told him stories about the mean ogre. The ogre stole from people. And worse, 
the terrible ogre ate boys. But Jack's belly was growling. His knees felt weak. Jack rubbed his belly again. Please, ma'am. I know the ogre could eat me. But I could die from hunger first. Please, can you give me some breakfast? The woman shook her head. I'm sorry, she said, but I don't think that's a good idea. I will eat fast and leave, Jack begged. I promise. He crossed his heart. Please? The woman stared at Jack for another second. Finally, she let out a loud sigh. Ugh! Fine! Come in! She said. Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 11 Thump, Thump, Thump The ogre's wife said. She put a bowl of porridge in front of Jack. Jack gulped down the food. It was hot and delicious. Thank you, Jack said. He got to his feet. I'll go now before... Thump, thump, thump. Footsteps shook the house like thunder. Oh no! The woman began to shake with fear. My husband is coming! She cried. Quick, boy! Hide! Jack froze. Thump, thump, thump. The ogre was coming closer. Where can I hide? Jack asked. There! The ogre's wife said. She pointed to the oven. Hide in there, quick! Thump, thump, thump! Just as the ogre entered, Jack jumped into the oven. He peeked out through a crack in the door. is huge, Jack thought. The ogre had sharp teeth and a nasty smile. A large pouch hung from his belt. Good morning, wife, the ogre said. I'm back from my hunt. The ogre tossed the pouch on the table. Cook these for my breakfast, he growled. This ogre is rude, too, Jack thought. Sniff, sniff. Jack's heart beat fast as the ogre sniffed the air. Sniff, sniff. The ogre roared. What's that smell? Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 12 Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum The ogre stomped around the room. 
He sniffed every corner. Suddenly, he stopped. Fee, fi, fo, fo, the ogre yelled. I smell an Englishman. If he's alive, or if he's dead, I'll eat him on a slice of bread. Inside the oven, Jack shook with fear. This is awful, he thought. The ogre is going to find me. Then he'll put me on bread and eat me. Jack bit his hand so he wouldn't cry. I'll never see Mother again, he thought. Why did I take those beans? <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum! The angry ogre yelled again. The smell is not an Englishman. It's an English boy. Now, now, dear, his wife said. I don't smell a thing. She gave a little laugh. <laughs> you must be dreaming. I'm not dreaming, the ogre said. I smell a boy. His wife patted his arm. Breakfast will be ready soon. Why don't you go and wash up? The ogre growled, still sniffing. I'll make pancakes too, his wife said sweetly. The ogre turned his huge head. With blueberries? He asked. His wife nodded. Yes, of course, dear. The ogre's shoulders dropped. His frown melted away. Okay. He said. I'll wash up. Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 13, The Ogre's Breakfast. Jack waited until the ogre left the room. Woo. Then he threw open the oven door. He started to jump out, but the ogre's wife stopped him. No! She whispered. It's not safe yet! You must wait! My husband always takes a nap after breakfast. With a sigh, Jack closed the door. Soon, the ogre came back. From inside the oven, Jack watched. The ogre ate his big breakfast. Mmm! Delicious! He said. Soon, the ogre's plate was empty. Phew! That was fast! Jack thought. Wife! The ogre shouted. Make me some more pancakes! Sure, dear! The ogre's wife said. Ugh. Jack thought. This will take forever. I'll never escape from this oven. Jack waited while the ogre ate more pancakes. Mm. 
At last, the ogre got to his feet. Finally, Jack thought. Now he will take his nap. But the ogre didn't go to sleep. Instead, he went over to a big wooden chest. What's he doing now? Jack thought. The ogre lifted the lid on the chest. He pulled out two bags. Jack's eyes opened wide. That chest is filled with gold and treasure, Jack thought. And some of it belongs to Mother and me. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 14, Shiny Gold Coins The ogre dropped the bags onto the table. Gold coins spilled from one bag. Smiling, the ogre began to count. One. Two. Three. He made tall stacks of shiny gold coins. Jack watched the stacks grow taller and taller. On and on the ogre counted. Twenty-six. Thirty-one. At last, the ogre began counting more slowly. Fifty-two. Fifty-eight. Sixty-six. The house shook as the ogre snored. Now, Jack thought, it was time to escape. He jumped out of the oven. Jack didn't see the ogre's wife anywhere. He tiptoed across the floor. The ogre continued to snore. Jack stepped silently toward the table. With one smooth move, Jack grabbed a bag of gold. Then he dashed outside. He ran with the bag. I hope the ogre doesn't wake up soon, Jack thought. Every few steps, he looked back. But he didn't see the ogre. Soon, Jack came to the beanstalk. He looked down and saw clouds. It's a long way down, he thought. Jack's heart thumped. Clutching the bag tightly, he stepped onto the beanstalk. He began to climb down carefully toward home. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 15, Up the Beanstalk Again. Jack climbed down the beanstalk. He climbed and climbed and climbed. At last, Jack stepped onto the ground. Phew! I made it! He thought. Quickly, he ran inside. Mother! Jack cried. Look! Mother gasped. <gasps> Is that gold? Real gold? Yes, it's gold the ogre stole from us, Jack said. He took her outside to see the beanstalk. <gasps> I 
I told you those were magic beans, Jack said. We got some of our gold back. Mother hugged Jack. You were right, she said. Oh, how wonderful! That night, Jack and Mother ate a big dinner. And for a long time, they felt rich and happy. But Jack knew there was a problem. Each month, the bag became a little less full. One day, the coins will be gone, Jack thought. So Jack made a new grand plan. One morning, he woke up early. He jumped onto the beanstalk. Up, up, up he climbed. At last, Jack reached the land above the clouds. He walked, following the road. Soon he came to the ogre's tall house. Once more, he saw the ogre's wife. She was standing outside the house. Jack took a deep breath. Good morning, he called boldly. I'm very hungry. Can you please give me something to eat? Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 16, Another Hot Breakfast. Jack smiled and waved at the ogre's wife. Go away, boy, she said. As Jack walked closer, the woman blinked. I remember you, she cried. I fed you breakfast one morning. That was the day my husband lost a bag of gold. The ogre's wife glared at Jack. The gold didn't just disappear, she said. Somebody stole it. Hmm, Jack said slyly. I might be able to tell you something about that. But... He rubbed his belly. I can't say another word until I eat something. Huff! The ogre's wife glared at Jack. But Jack could see that she was curious. With a sigh, she invited Jack inside. The woman brought Jack some hot porridge. Here! She snapped. Eat your breakfast! Then tell me about the missing gold. Jack picked up a spoon and tasted some porridge. Very, very slowly, he sipped some tea. Then he patted his mouth with a napkin. So, what's new? Jack asked the ogre's wife. Has the ogre caught any... Thump, thump, thump. The house shook like thunder. Perfect. Jack thought. He looked down to hide his smile. The ogre was coming. Yeah. 
Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 17, The Golden Hen. Thump, thump, thump. The ogre's footsteps shook the house. The footsteps grew louder. The ogre's wife looked worried. Quick, she whispered to Jack. Just as before, Jack jumped into the oven. Thump! 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 The ogre stomped into the room. Instantly, he began sniffing around. Three, five, four, four. The ogre shouted. I smell un. It's nothing, dear. His wife cut him off. Here, eat your breakfast. The ogre's wife set down some pancakes. Fine. The ogre snapped. But I can smell un. The ogre's wife sprinkled some blueberries on the pancakes. The ogre looked down at his plate. Ooh! He cried. Blueberries. Jack peeked out as the ogre ate the pancakes. After breakfast, the ogre patted his belly. Then he slapped the table. Wife! He shouted. Bring me my golden hen! His wife nodded and ran off. Soon, she was back with a large hen. She put it in front of the ogre. The ogre grinned his nasty grin. Hen? I want an egg! The ogre cried. Lay! Jack's eyes opened wide. The hen laid a golden egg. I must have that hen, Jack thought. Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 18 Jack Escapes Soon, the ogre's wife left the room. Jack stayed hidden in the oven. He watched the ogre. Jack knew what was about to happen. First, the ogre's head began to nod. Then... The whole house shook from the snoring. Jack slipped out of the oven. Moving quickly, he grabbed the hen. Then he raced for the door. Jack stayed very quiet. But the hen didn't stay quiet. Instead, it made a lot of noise. Cackle, cackle, cackle. The ogre woke up. He wiped his eyes. Jack darted behind the door. The ogre stared at the empty table in surprise. Wife! He roared. Get in here at once! She ran into the room. What's wrong, dear? My golden head! 
the ogre cried. It's gone! Who took my golden hen? Your golden hen, his wife said. The ogre's wife glanced nervously at the oven. Jack dashed outside, holding the hen tightly. Stop, thief! The ogre yelled. The ogre and his wife ran after Jack. But he was too fast for them. Jack raced down the road toward the beanstalk. With a flying leap, he jumped on. And then down, 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 he climbed. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 19, A New Grand Plan. At last, Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk. He ran into his house. He was still carrying the golden hen. Mother! He called. Come quickly! I want to show you something. Mother ran into the room. Jack placed the golden hen on the table. Lay, he said. Mother clapped as the hen laid an egg. A golden egg, she said. Amazing! <laughs> Jack smiled happily. Mother will never cry again, he thought. Time passed. Mother and Jack were very happy. They had each other. And they had plenty of golden eggs. But after a while, Jack began to worry. Mm. What if the hen stops laying eggs? He thought. What will we do when that happens? That night, Jack gazed up at the twinkling star. He remembered the ogre's big wooden chest. That chest is filled with treasure, Jack thought. Treasure that the ogre stole from us. Hmm, I wonder... The next morning, Jack woke up early. He jumped onto the beanstalk and started climbing. Up, 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 he climbed. At last, Jack reached the top. He smiled. I'm going back to the ogre's house, he said. And I've got a new grand plan. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode 20, Jack Hides Again. Jack walked along the road. Near the ogre's house, he ducked behind a bush. He waited until the ogre's wife came out. She carried a pail.
She's going to the well for water, Jack thought. He waited another minute. Now! He slipped into the house. He spotted a large copper tub. It was filled with laundry. Jack climbed under the clothes. Soon, he heard a sound. Thump, thump, thump. The ogre sniffed the air. He stomped around the room. Fee fi fo fo! The ogre cried. I smell an English boy! The ogre sniffed all around. His wife hurried into the house. What are you doing? She asked. I smell him. I know I do. The ogre shouted. The ogre's wife stared at him. You smell that boy? She asked. The one who stole your gold? Yes! The ogre growled. His eyes burned with anger. He stole my golden hen, too! I know where the boy is! The ogre's wife said. She ran to the oven and threw open the door. But Jack wasn't there. The ogre stamped his foot. I smell him! He shouted. That boy is around here somewhere! Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 21 The Golden Harp The ogre's wife shook her head at the ogre. That's not the boy, she said. You probably smell last night's dinner. The ogre stomped around the room. Forget about it, his wife said. I'll make some pancakes for you. Pancakes with blueberries. Jack peeked out from his hiding spot. The ogre nodded and sat down, but he did not look happy. While his wife cooked, the ogre sniffed the air. I smell a boy, the ogre grumbled. It's the thief. I know it is. Jack frowned. The ogre was the real thief. The ogre got up and checked the pantry. He checked all the cupboards. His wife sighed. Ugh. Forget about the boy! Here, your breakfast is ready! After breakfast, the ogre slapped the table. Wife! He yelled. Bring me my golden harp! Father had a golden harp, Jack thought. He watched the woman put something on the table. It was a harp made of shiny gold. The ogre touched it gently. How I love my golden harp, he said. 
Harp, sing! The golden harp began to sing. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. The ogre closed his eyes and hummed along. What beautiful music! Jack thought. I could make lots of money with that harp. I need to get that harp back. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode Twenty Two: The Ogre Chases Jack. The golden harp played on and on. Jack peeked at the ogre. He was listening with his eyes closed. Soon, the ogre's snores shook the house. His wife sighed. He's finally asleep. Now, Jack thought as the woman left the room. He jumped from the tub, creeping like a mouse. He reached the table. Then, <laughs> he grabbed the golden harp. But Jack wasn't ready for what happened next. Master, master! The harp sang loudly. Help! There's a thief! Oh no! Jack thought. Clutching the harp tightly, he ran for the door. Help! The harp sang again. Wake up, master! A boy is stealing me! Ogre's eyes popped open. With a furious growl, he jumped to his feet. Stop, thief! The ogre yelled. He rushed at Jack, but Jack was already at the door. He raced outside and ran down the road. The ogre took off after him. You rotten boy! He shouted. You won't get away from me. The ogre grabbed Jack's shirt. But Jack pulled away and ran faster. Help, master! The golden harp sang. Jack had to reach the beanstalk. But the ogre was right behind him. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode Twenty Three. Down the beanstalk again. I need a grand plan. Jack thought. All at once, one came to him. Before he reached the beanstalk, he made a sharp turn. Jack dashed across a field. The ogre's footsteps pounded behind him. Jack leaped over bushes. He ran as fast as he could. The ogre was huffing and puffing. He's slowing down. Jack thought. He ran toward the beanstalk. 
Clutching the harp, he leaped onto the beanstalk. Quickly, Jack started going down. He heard the ogre panting above him. The ogre was getting closer to the beanstalk. Suddenly, the golden harp let out a sharp cry. The ogre looked down with his nasty eyes. He spotted Jack. Aha! The ogre cried. There you are! The ogre threw himself onto the beanstalk. The beanstalk bent from the heavy giant's weight. Whoa! Jack gripped it tightly. The ogre gave a loud roar. Jack moved as fast as he could, but so did the ogre. The beanstalk swayed back and forth. Jack raced down through the clouds. He went down, down, down. Soon he was far below the ogre. At last, Jack's feet touched the ground. Mother! He yelled. <gasps> Come quickly and bring an axe! Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 24 Happily Ever After Jack's mother raced outside with an axe. What's wrong, Jack? She looked up and froze. A pair of legs hung below the clouds. They were an ogre's legs. Jack grabbed the axe and swung hard. Chop! Chop! The ogre growled loudly. Here I come! Jack chopped harder. sound filled the air. The giant beanstalk began to fall. The ogre flew off the beanstalk. Boom! He landed hard on the ground. Then the beanstalk crashed down. Under it, the ogre lay still. Music came from the golden harp. You are my new master! It sang. <laughs> Mother hugged Jack. Thank goodness you're safe. No more magic beans or grand plans. Jack grinned. Just one more grand plan. Mother looked worried. Jack laughed. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll like this plan. I promise. Everyone loved the golden harp. Jack had concerts and made money. He gave food to the poor. And he built a big new house. Jack built something else too. One day, he knocked on Eliza's door. Please come with me, Jack said. He led her to the field next to his house. Another new house sat there. It's for your family, Jack said. That night, 
a star twinkled brightly. And everyone lived happily ever after.